India-Taiwan ties have once again rattled China. Beijing has now warned New Delhi against engaging with Taipei. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning also went on to say, quote, China has lodged a solemn representations with the Indian side. The One China Principle is a serious political commitment made by the Indian side and the political foundation of Sino-India relations." Unquote. Beijing also urged India to handle quote, Taiwan-related issues prudently and properly. Not just that, CCP says India should refrain from conducting any form of official exchanges with Taiwan. This even as over 150 PLA fighter jets and dozens of warships surrounded and simulated attacking Taiwan in an attempt to intimidate the island nation into submission. But if China thinks India and Taiwan are going to toe the line, then it is highly mistaken. Under the Modi government, ties with Taiwan are stronger than ever before. In fact, the Chinese reaction comes a day after Taiwan opened its third office in India. This new Taipei Economic and Cultural Centre opened in Mumbai follows similar centres in New Delhi and Chennai. Modi government has taken a far more proactive geopolitical and military stand against Chinese aggression ever since the 2020 Galwan Valley clashes. What will rattle China even more is that this statement by Taiwan Foreign Minister saying the office, quote, not only reflects the success of Taiwan's new southbound policy and India's Act East policy, but also represents the continued promise to enhance bilateral ties, unquote. Yes, it is a promise by India and Taiwan to forge a new alliance against Chinese aggression and salami slicing. In fact, Taipei now says India is one of the few countries capable of standing up to Chinese bullying. Taiwan's Foreign Minister Lin Chialung, on the occasion of the island's National Day, urged India and other countries facing similar geopolitical challenges in the Indo-Pacific, crucial to fight China's challenge to the global rules-based order. Naming India specifically, Lin said, quote, China is challenging the existing rules-based international order. I think it is legitimate that all countries, especially like-minded countries, get together and have closer cooperation and dialogue to face the challenge together. And among these, India is specially important." Unquote. Amidst Chinese war games across the Taiwan Strait, Lin urged increased cooperation of Taiwan with like-minded nations and groupings like the Quad, AUKUS, Five Eyes and G7. Of course, China doesn't want it. CCP seeks to isolate Taiwan and completely eradicate its identity, just like China has been doing in Tibet since the 1950s. Lin further reiterated the Taiwanese government's foreign policy to counter CCP now entails three chains. A security alliance chain, a non-China and resilient economic supply chain, and a global democratic chain. One of Taiwan's major advantages is its dominant semiconductor industry and its cooperation with major global powers like India, Japan, Germany and the United States. Lin claims Taiwan's resistance to Chinese aggression is, quote, highly correlated with India's ambitions, unquote. Touching on the need for a free trade agreement, Lin also suggested New Delhi launch initiatives to attract Taiwanese companies that were based in China to make further investments in India. Meanwhile, Taiwan's Deputy Foreign Minister, Francois Wu, even goes as far as to say that the US and India are the only countries capable of balancing China. He warns, Chinese President Xi Jinping's territorial ambitions won't stop with Taiwan, adding once CCP is done with Taipei, it will turn its attention to Japan, the Philippines and India would probably be the next in line. Of course, China hates Taipei's guts. Xi Jinping's CCP sees Taiwan as just a rebel province that must be reunified with the mainland, even by force. The timing of Taiwan's outreach and SOS to India is not mere coincidence. It comes just as Chinese military intensified its military war games surrounding Taiwan. Just days ago, PLA approached Taiwan with 153 military aircraft along with the aircraft carrier Lao Ning with its troops of Army, Navy, Air Force and Rocket Force. 28 of those Chinese military aircraft even dared to cross the sensitive median line in the Taiwan Strait, which had previously served as an unofficial barrier, though China is repeatedly violating it. PLA Joint Drills dubbed Joint Sword 2024B, involving sea and air combat readiness, involved blockading key Taiwanese ports as well as assaults on maritime and ground targets, 
On October 14th, 34 Navy warships and 125 aircraft in formation surrounded the island nation of Taiwan. Simulating an attack on the island nation from all corners, Chinese Coast Guard meanwhile announced law enforcement patrols and surrounding mainland Taiwan in what it declared was a practical action to control Taiwan Island. The intimidating Chinese military actions began without prior notice. It occurred in response to a speech delivered by Taiwan's President Lai ching te on the occasion of the National Day, where he went on to slam China and it said it has no right to represent Taiwan. The Chinese launched the drills around the self-ruled island nation in retaliation aimed at sending a stern warning to separatist forces. As creepy as it could get, the Chinese Coast Guard released a poster on their website featuring a red heart surrounding the Taiwanese island. Does this red represent the blood of the Taiwanese people? The Chinese Foreign Ministry even warned, Taiwan independence and peace in the Taiwan Strait are irreconcilable, which means China would go to any lengths to subjugate Taiwan. Communist China's territorial ambitions are bound to spark a conflict in the South China Sea one day or another. It is only wise for democratic nations like India to be prepared for any eventuality. China's muscle flexing though is backfiring and has prompted greater international solidarity and unity against Beijing's expansionist claims. The United States Pentagon called China irresponsible, disproportionate and destabilizing. Meanwhile, in a departure from the One China policy in June this year, Prime Minister Modi engaged in an official exchange with Taiwanese President on Platform X and congratulated him on his election victory. Modi declared, quote, I look forward to closer ties as we work towards mutually beneficial economic and technological partnership." Unquote. In other words, Chinese objections will not matter anymore. At a time when China-Pakistan's CPEC project is violating Indian territorial sovereignty by passing through Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, India has now decided to back Taiwan against any Chinese aggression. Meanwhile, more and more Taiwanese companies are moving their supply chains out of China and are establishing them in India. Taiwan's foreign direct investment in India drove up to more than $665 million in the five years leading to 2023. The two-way trade between India and Taiwan was $10.1 billion during the financial year ending March 2024. The two nations have developed a closer semiconductor alliance with India keen on more investment from the major chip-producing nation to aid its own efforts to boost manufacturing and self-reliance. So should India continue to boost alliance with Taiwan despite Chinese warnings? Leave a comment with your opinion and subscribe to InConnect News for more geopolitics and defense news.